and welcome to Chantry Community Academy. These are really, really strange times at the moment and some of you are probably feeling very anxious. My name is Mrs Duncan and I'm here this morning to show you around our lovely school. I'm going to give you a bit of a guided tour to get a feel for the school and show your little ones their new classrooms and things that will be familiar to them when they arrive. Are you ready? Let's go in and see this school. Welcome. We're so proud at Chantry of some of the awards and certificates that you can receive as you go through our time with us. Some of these that are going to be really important to you. I'm going to introduce you to George. George is our attendance dragon. He's here for you to win if you come to school every day. That is so important. And here we've got our good to be green frog. He gets awarded if your whole class are really, really well behaved. We've got lots of green classes, so you better be ready. I bet some of you are going to be absolute superstars. We have our special book, our recipe book. And in our recipe book, your teachers will choose somebody each week to be star of the week. I wonder who it will be. OK, so we've come into school, down the corridor, and the first thing that we come to is one of our packed lunch trolleys. Some of you might have a school dinner where you have a hot dinner with your friends. Some of you might choose to bring your own school packed lunch. Either is absolutely fine. If you choose to bring a packed lunch, this is where you'll put your packed lunch box. You can see we have space for everybody, all lined up. We're now on the early years corridor, which is where we've got our reception classes, our nursery and our key stage one classes. I'm going to share with you now the early years classrooms. All of our classes are named after book authors. So people who've written books, we take reading very seriously at Chantry. Now then, you are going to be in one of two classes. This classroom is called Carl class and down the corridor, the other reception class is called Potter class. I wonder which one you'll be in. Can't wait to find out. In our classrooms in reception, we have three adults. We have a teacher and two support adults. So you're going to be very well cared for and you're going to be safe. So now we're in one of our classrooms, we're actually in Carl classroom. You've sorted out your lunchbox, we're in a classroom, and now this is where you'd hang up your coat, your bag, and your little PE kit, and then school makes sure that you've got your aprons for all of those messy activities that you're going to be doing with us. Now you can see, down this side, we've got some lovely displays. You'll be learning some English, some maths work and some phonics, learning your sounds so that we can very quickly get you reading and writing and doing some counting. Your adults will always make sure that they display your work on the board to make sure that you've got a really nice classroom. While you're at home at the moment, you might be following a recipe. You might be doing lots of cooking and baking we have a recipe in Chantry that we follow every day. Everything that we can do, we use our recipe. These are our recipe words here, and your teachers will always be looking to see that you're following them really carefully. We also have something really special. If any of you have ever been on holiday, you might have a passport to go on holiday. But we've got some special passports here at Chantry. There are Skills for Life passports. And in here, there are lots of little activities, our Skills for Life for you to follow. There's one that we'd really like you to think about for September before you start with us. There's one in here and it's asking you if you can play a board game with somebody at home. That'd be a great one for you to tell your teachers when you come and start in September. They'll stamp it off for you. What a great start. Remember I showed you earlier 
are good to be green frog and I said to you that that's something that a class can win for showing really really good behaviour. Well in the reception classrooms with all the classes in school as well we have our good to be green chart. Your name when you come in September will be on this chart and you'll get a little green card at the beginning of the day and the aim is for you to keep your card green and that shows that your behaviour has been lovely and that you've been showing our values for our school, which are here. All of our values, if you demonstrate those, you'll be showing really good green behaviour. I wonder if your class will win the frog at the end of the week. Okay, this is Potter classroom. So this is the other classroom in reception. I'm going to take you in. It's set up exactly as it would be set up for a morning session. So you'd come into here and the desks are set up with different activities. Now, this class, before we, we broke up, we're learning about all creatures great and small. So lots of the activities that are set out on the table that the children would come to do first thing relate to that topic. We've got some fine motor activities here. Come and paint a picture of your favourite spring animal. Those of you who like that kind of thing. We've got some number work here. Gosh, look at this. Practice taking away using 10 green bottles. Here we've got some shape, space and measure work. Can you use the shapes to make a pattern? Maybe that's something that you could start doing at home. Maybe you've got little bits of pasta or shapes at home and you could start making a pattern to bring to your teacher in September. Over here, we've got some expressive art and design. Come and paint a jungle animal. Oh my goodness, I hope your painting and drawing's better than mine. We've got our role play area here just about to be starting on the theme of all creatures great and small you can see some monkey shapes there and big jungle leaves it'd be your job as well to add to the role play area perhaps you would choose reading when you come into class in the morning here's the reading corner and you can see there's lots of little teddies here just to give you a little bit of comfort if that's what you need some of you when you come into class first thing in the morning you might decide to go onto the interactive whiteboard. Quite often there's songs and games and activities on there. That's something that you might like doing. Over here, we've got the Curiosity Cube. This is changed every week. I wonder what's in there. Perhaps something, that's something that you really enjoy doing, finding out and discovering. Over here, I'm going to introduce you to our little teddy friend, here he is, here's Camembert. Camembert is gonna help you learn French. We learn French all the way through the school and you'll be surprised in no time at all, you'll probably be learning how to say hello and maybe even some numbers. Hello, I'll see you in September. Now then, at the back of the room, this is where we have our snacks and our water. That's really important. And going into reception, there are things that you can do by yourselves. You'll all have a water bottle and then you'll all have access to fruit and veg during the day. Milk as well, and you'll be able to just help yourselves. Now, big part of reception is bringing the indoors outdoors, learning outside. We've got a lovely outdoor area. I'll take you out there in a minute. But some of you might be thinking, uh -uh, where are the toilets? Well, you're OK. The toilets are just just outside your classroom. Here they are. Little sinks and soap for you to wash your hands. And then the toilets. And look, you can get through to Carl class. That's really useful when your teachers have set up activities. You might choose to do some learning in the other classroom and then you can make lots and lots of new friends with the other class as well. Well, this is our new purpose-built outdoor area for our reception children. And as you can see, it's used in all weather. Today's a typical day. 
Now, the outside area is set up with all sorts of activities. As I said earlier, it's bringing the inside outside. There are lots of things out here for children to explore. We've got some bikes over there. We've got large bricks construction. And then we've got some messy play, role play, mud kitchen, musical instruments, painting and all sorts. Also, you can just see in the distance there, on this lovely wet day, our outdoor play area. Now that has just been built and we are really, really proud of it. You'll get a go on that, so that's something to look forward to when you start with us in September. This is our library. It's well used by everybody. Support staff come in here and work with children. And then you can see down the side here, in school we have lots and lots of laptops and iPads. Some of them end up in the library to be used for research. We've got a good selection of books here. And on a Friday afternoon, the reception classes can come up here with an adult, choose one of our books to take home for their pleasure for reading, something that's really, really important. And we do encourage children to read as much as possible. We have a little bit of an incentive for that. I'm going to share with you our reading raffle. If you read at home lots and lots during the week, your teachers will give you a raffle ticket to put in this box. Each week, somebody's ticket is pulled out to win a book. So that's something really nice to look forward to. I would imagine some of you at home at the moment are doing lots of reading and sharing picture books perhaps with your adults at home. We're part of the Skills for Life Trust and as such we actively promote the skills that children will need in the future. This is our Skills for Life room, purpose built and we use this room for things like sewing, music, art, craft, painting and obviously we use it for cooking. Our reception children come in here with their adults quite often to do some cooking linked to their topic. Recently, some of our children worked on some porridge, linking to Goldilocks and the Three Bears. When they come in this room, we've got little aprons for you to wear to keep your clothes nice and clean. And then with your adult, you can do lots and lots of cooking. It's really exciting. It's very safe. You'll love it. This is our hall. This is our biggest inside space in the school. It's used for PE and it's used for lunches as well. It doesn't matter whether you're a packed lunch or a school dinner, all of you will come down here at lunchtime into the hall with your adults and you'll make your way to our kitchen area. All of our food is cooked here so you'll see exactly what you're getting. You'll line up and there'll be lots and lots of adults to help you. And behind here, there's all the food for you to choose from. So the adults will help you decide what you'd like. They'll give you your food and then you'll come and sit down at one of the tables here. In the middle of the hall, we always have salad and cakes and biscuits for you to choose from. You certainly won't go hungry. If you're a little bit worried about eating and managing your food, there are adults to help you. But I tell you, what would be really useful before you start in September is for you to all practice using a knife and fork. That would be really great and it would really help all the adults and it would obviously help you as well. Hi, I'm Mr Simmons. I'm a specialist PE teacher here at Chantry. Um, my job is to, to ensure the delivery of outstanding PE um, across um, the entire school. Um, you've already seen our fantastic indoor facility. Um, the hall is currently set up for circuit training. Um, I'm just going to show you our outside facilities. This is one of two um, very, very good um, playgrounds. This is where your children will be spending their break and lunch times and doing some of their outdoor PE, probably in the warmer terms. Um, if I can just direct you over to here, 
This is, um, we're one of the lucky schools in Gravesend and in Kent to actually have a multi-use games area or in short, a mugger. Uh, this is uh, a surface that we can use all year round. It doesn't freeze, it doesn't hold water, it's very soft. So your children will be doing most of their PE on this. Um, and we also have access just above those stairs to a really nice flat field that we'll be doing our summer term sports and preparing for our sports day in terms five and six. We're lucky enough here at Chantry to have two mini buses to um, provide our children in reception opportunities to travel to Sean Country Park every year, um, which is just up the road, and to our trust schools to provide extra opportunities such as um, to view theatre shows. We're now back in our main office reception area. We really hope that you found this little tour useful. We can't wait to see you all very, very soon. Please phone us and we would be absolutely delighted to answer any questions you may have. Take care and stay safe.